Keep watching Charis TV. Looking at you, come here. I know what devil wanted to do to you. He failed. You hear me? Yesterday. Eh? Yesterday. Yeah, but whatever is happening to you concerning your job. Yesterday. Because you, you are worrying about your job. Yesterday. Huh? Yesterday. Uh, so your enemies will fall. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God say I must bless you. <laughs> bless it. And with me here today is my sister, who was located during the service by the Apostle who ministered upon her life. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Matapelo. I am from here in Midrand. The Apostle located you and he ministered upon your life. I'd love that you please tell us in details what he said to you and please confirm it. The man of God, um, he allocated me through the Holy Spirit and he said to me, um, you are anointed, come here. And I went to him and immediately when I stepped into his presence, already the anointing took over. And when I stood up now to go back to my chair, still the anointing took over and he said I must come to him again. He said the reason why I am praying for you is because of I can see that you are worried about your job and I confirm that very true because of there has been a pattern where you know I don't have any stability in, in, in terms of a job. So um, immediately uh, the anointing took over and he said that God um, he said that I must bless you and he blessed me and I thank God for that. And how long have you been experiencing this problem that the man of God mentioned to you today and how has it affected you? Like in honest truth, like um, ever since, it's as if like, you know, I'd, um, the devil, he doesn't want me to really be the one who provides for my family, you know. It's as if he is trying to bring stagnation, it's as if he is trying to bring lack or poverty. Like it's as if he doesn't want me to get to where God has called me to be, but God he is in control and God is mightier than any powers or any gods that, you know, dwell in this um, world or on earth. So I am very grateful that God is able to remember me and through the fasting and praying and persistent prayer, like he is really coming through for me and I'm very grateful for that. And how would you encourage somebody who's giving up and they are watching this clip? You know what, I would say that they must not give up. Um, they must keep on trusting and having faith. The most important thing is having faith because of God operates with faith. You know, it's, it's, he's a spirit. You cannot be able to touch him. You cannot be able to see him. But when you have faith, you are able to see his power. So I would encourage somebody that also they must uh, come to cherish. Um, this is where the true apostles or, or servants of God are. Um, same like with, with the olden times, you know, when God used to operate through Moses, through Elijah, you know, through Apostle Paul. Same spirit that operated with them, it is operating in this church and with power. So I would encourage somebody to kindly come to this church. They will find their breakthrough. Amen. Lift her up. The business you are doing, I, I see God giving connection. Thank you, Jesus. Do you hear me? You. God will give you connection. Thank you. Thank you, In the name Jesus. of Jesus. Jesus. You're free. You're free, sir. Today during the service, Prophet Andres Simona located you and he ministered upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us in details what he said and please confirm it. Okay. Uh, through the Holy Spirit, the man of God was able to prophesy and he said to me that uh, God wants to uh, give me connection in terms of the current business that I'm doing. I confirm that prophecy to be true because of currently there is a gentleman who is uh, busy with tenders who wants to connect me with a tender from Baragwanath. So I confirm his prophecy to be very much true true because um, I have been trying to you know um, find ways or finance to make the business to pick up and and if ever this really really truly happens like that will really um, be a breakthrough so I confirm his prophecy hundred percent true 
And how do you feel that today the men of God located you and ministered upon your life regarding what you are desiring? Like, I feel so blessed, you know. It's so good to know that God's hand is upon your life. And I, I, I would encourage somebody also to say, you know what, keep on praying and keep on looking unto God. He is the solution. He is the way. He is the answer. He is the light. Don't look anywhere else. Don't, don't search for anything else, but only search for God. He knows and he will align your life according to his will. Greetings all in the mighty name of Jesus. I am standing before you to give my testimony. Uh, last year, November. Last year, and, November. And December. Le December. Prophet Andres, he prophesied to me twice. Prophet Andres, and he said to me that God wants to bless me with a business connection. And indeed, yesterday the prophecy was fulfilled. Yesterday, when I met with uh, the business partners, they said to me, uh, you don't have to pay for the space, we will pay. And they said to me that you don't have to set it up with your own money. We will set it up for you. And they said to me that uh, with the profit that we're going to make, we, we want us to go 50-50 with it. So I really want to thank God for fulfilling that, pro with that prophecy. Hallelujah.